we are going to discuss Ewing sarcoma, which is a very important topic. In this video, we will be discussing in the format as we are supposed to write in the theory papers. Okay, so starting with the introduction, uh, bone tumors they are divided into three on the basis of location. First one is epiphyseal, second is metaphyseal, and third is diaphyseal. Epiphyseal tumors include giant cell tumor and chondroblastoma. Metaphyseal tumor include osteosarcoma, osteochondroma, aneurysmal bone cyst, simple bone cyst, non ossifying fibroma. While diaphyseal tumors include Ewing sarcoma, osteoidostoma, adamantinoma, and fibrous dysplasia. Out of these, the giant cell tumor and Ewing sarcoma are very important. So, coming to Ewing sarcoma again, introduction is it was first described by James Ewing, hence the name Ewing sarcoma. Okay. The definition of Ewing sarcoma goes like Ewing sarcoma is a highly malignant primary bone tumor arising from the red marrow of diaphyseal region of the long bones usually, okay? It is highly malignant, this primary bone tumor, okay? Arising from the red marrow, which is sarcoma, from the soft tissues, okay? Which is bone marrow here, the red marrow. Epidemiology is age, it occurs in 5 to 15 years age. Uh, it is very rare, under 5 years and above 30 years. Uh, if we see the sex ratio, then male is to female is 1.5 is to 1, which means slight predilection over males, okay? Males have got over females. The site is diaphysis of the long bones extending into the metaphysis, okay? There are two types of Ewing sarcoma. First one is sclerotic, second one is lytic. Just remember the names. Coming to clinical features, the prime clinical feature is pain, which is insidious in onset, intermittent initially, but continuous later on. Pain is followed by swelling. Swelling is rapidly growing, okay? There are general features of... Uh, like infection, so differential diagnosis would be osteomyelitis. Here, there would be fever, malaise, ESR, CRP would be raised. Coming to investigations, Ewing sarcoma, there are two investigations baseline. First one is imaging, second one is histopathological examination. Imaging, if we see X ray and CT MRI, X ray, what we will be seeing on X ray, we will be seeing lytic permeative lesions, onion skin appearance, and cordman triangle. Cordman triangle is a non specific finding. Onion peeling is also non specific as such, but seen here. So, you can see in this X ray very clearly what is onion uh, skin appearance. Basically, it is uh, periosteal reaction to the insult to the bone so if the bone is insulted here then periosteum will start growing above it like this which will give appearance of onion skin okay you can see it here then coming to CTMRI, CTMRI basically for a precise uh, delineation of the extent of the tumor. Then histopathological examination. Histopathological examination shows small and round neoplastic cells uh, and hyperchromatism and mitotic figures, which are basically that of any neoplasia. Then uh, pseudo rosettes are seen here because of central clearing of the nucleus, okay, of the cell. Uh, then coming to spread. How does Ewing sarcoma spread? Ewing sarcoma spread through lymphatic and hematogenous mode of spread. It is highly lethal. Okay. Uh, differential diagnosis include chronic myelitis, uh, chronic osteomyelitis, as we saw, fever, malaise, ESR, CRP rest. Second is osteosarcoma. Third is Pedis disease. Fever. Fourth is multiple myeloma. Okay. Then coming to the treatment of Ewing sarcoma. The uh, Ewing sarcoma is basically a radio sensitive tumor. Hence, essentially, the treatment includes radiotherapy. But the best treatment is a combination of radiotherapy, chemotherapy, as well as surgery. Okay. So, radiotherapy includes four, uh, first of all, we are supposed to provide radiotherapy to the whole bone where the tumor is arising, as well as separately to the primary site also. So 4,000 to 5,000 rats are to be provided for the whole bone, while 1,000 to 1,500 rats for the primary site of the tumor. Then chemotherapy. In chemotherapy, VAC regime is followed. VAC stands for, V stands for vincristine, A for adriamycin, C for cyclophosphamide. So this chemotherapy is to be supposed to be given 3 to 4 uh, weekly and uh, total 12 to 18 cycles are to be given. Then plus minus surgery. Surgery is not always necessary. We will see the indication of surgery. Surgery is basically excision with adequate margin or primary amputation if saving the limb is futile. If saving the limb is necessary, then excision with adequate margin. If it is of no use, then do primary amputation. So what are the indications of surgery? First is tumor is in expandable bones like ribs. Okay. Second is high risk area for the spread and recurrence of tumor. For example, uh, ileum is the location or where more blood supply or more limb supply is there. So there are more chances of spread and recurrence. So there surgery is needed to be done. That is excision with adequate margin.